This is Kay Sarah Sarah. She's a wonderful 57 foot semi traditional reverse layout narrowboat built in 2016. She's only four years old by Murfield Boat Builders. She's in lovely condition. She's just been blacked and she also had a hull serve at the same time. That's available in the office for inspection. She was blacked in 2019 as well, actually, in a recent coat or two coats in September this year. The engine was serviced in March 2020 and she's been the home, the Liverpool home to a current owner since she was built. Gas bottles are in that forward locker. Cratch covers in good condition. There's a petrol generator on board there, three and a half, a three kilowatt, I think it is, generator. Solar panels on the roof, everywhere actually. There's a thousand watts there producing. So you will not go short of battery charge. And there are security cameras, four of them, two there and two there. You can watch on the television screen what's going on outside and it also records. Good quality pram hood. The front of that, the windscreen rolls down so you can see where you're going when you're motoring. And here's the semi trad stern deck. Cockpit itself is four feet eight inches long. Lockers either side. There's the windscreen I mentioned. And the engine's in here, it's a canal line 38. Nice and clean and tidy in here. There's a water tank on the left hand side of the screen. Now that's for the washing machine, it's got a separate water tank. Those blue boxes are the solar controllers and the batteries on the right hand side of the screen. That's a huge bank of batteries, actually five leisure batteries, 110 amp hours each. And the engine's only got 1700 hours on it. So being reverse layout, we're going to the kitchen first. Good size room, 12 feet 6 inches long, four burner gas hob there, various battery monitor and central heater controls up there. There's lots and lots of storage space in this kitchen, you'll see as we go through. There's the Victron inverters, 3 kilowatt inverter charger, a very good size storage cupboard, nice tiled splashbacks. Separate freezer, separate fridge, and the oven's probably one of the cleanest I've ever seen. And there's a cupboard underneath for pans and pots and things like that. Very good bank of drawers here. Four of them of varying sizes. And some utensils. On the other side of the galley, one of these very clever carousel type cupboards. They've made really good use of space, the builders on this boat. Little pulley out shelfy thing there. Plenty of room to put things. Another one here. And a huge space under the sink. So you won't be stuck for places to put things. The washing machine is an LG. And here's quite a clever cupboard scrolled away in this gap. The washing machine they use uh, obviously off, off landline or the generator is what they use to power the washing machine. And there's the plug there you can see. There's a microwave oven in here as well. Very neatly arranged keys in there. Really lovely. The fit out's great. The head height on the boat is 6 feet 8 inches in the centre. So very tall, lighting's all LED. There's one of the radiators. The central heating is a Makuni diesel-fired central heating system. Four radiators, one towel row. And here's the saloon. Side hatch there. Large L-shaped sofa. That converts into a spare double bed. Storage underneath. That armchair's brand new. And there's the solid fuel stove. There's the television. You can... I think I mentioned you can watch the security cameras or the activity on that television. Into the bathroom, feels really luxurious in here. It's a good size room, six feet four inches long. Ceramic sink. The loo itself is a cassette loo, a Dometic 12 volt electric flush. And a lovely shower cubicle. 
glass doors, lots of room. There is an extractor light in here. There you go, that's a fan, an extractor fan. And the forward cabin is the bedroom. Two single beds, that was the preference of the, the owners. You could chop this room about a bit and make it into a cross double bed. But very comfortable and lots of storage. Huge chest of drawers there. Bank of six drawers underneath this. Very good size wardrobe. And up into the well deck. Nice glazed cratch board. There's the generator. Cratch covers in good condition as well, actually. So she's not an old boat at all. Four years old. Very comfortable. Fully tried and tested as a liverboard for the last four years. And a really comfortable home. The hot water tank's a large one, by the way, 600 litres. Hot water is supplied by the engine, the diesel central heating. Here's a dining table. There's some stools that provide the dining area there. It could be quite a useful little desk as well, I suppose. So hot water's the engine, the central heating. Well, there is an immersion heater on board if you're hooked up to landline. And that's Kesara Sara. Wonderful boat. And at 57 feet, of course, she's the ideal length for going absolutely anywhere on the system. For further photographs of a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.